The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. If an equilateral triangle has a side with length 8 root 21, find the length of its altitude. Let's start this problem by drawing a picture of our equilateral triangle. We're given that one side of the triangle has a length of 8 root 21, and since it's an equilateral triangle, all three sides are congruent so all three sides must have a length of 8 root 21. And remember that each angle of an equilateral triangle measures 60 degrees. Next, let's draw an altitude of our equilateral triangle. Notice that the altitude creates two congruent triangles by hypotenuse leg. Therefore, the 60 degree angle at the top is split into two 30 degree angles, which means that our equilateral triangle is split into two 30, 60, 90 degree triangles. Let's call the short leg of each triangle X and the long leg Y. Now we know that in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg so working with the triangle on the left the hypotenuse, 8 root 21, is 2 times the short leg, or 2 times x. And dividing both sides by 2, 4 root 21 equals x. To find the value of y, we know that in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the long leg is root 3 times the short leg. So, working with the triangle on the left, the long leg, y, is root 3 times the short leg, which is root 3 times x, or root 3 times 4 root 21. Now, multiplying the numbers inside the radicals together gives us y equals 4 root 63. And notice that the square root of 63 can be broken down to 3 root 7. So we have y equals 4 times 3 root 7, or y equals 12 root 7. So the altitude of our equilateral triangle has a length of 12 root 7. 